Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build the Gepper C Spare 3 inch quadcopter using Hobby Wing X Rotor Micro F4 flight controller, T Motor F20 3750kV motors, this is the second version, Jamfren Flash 3052 3 blade propellers, Racer Star 25 ampere tattoo 4 in 1 EC controller. It's a little bit of an overkill, but this is the 4 in 1 EC controller that I have and I'm going to use it. Kaizon STM40 adjustable VTX. It also came with this antenna, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use it, but we'll see. And to top it up, I'm going to use the Runcam split camera to take some HD footage. Hopefully, it's going to perform well on this 3 inch quadcopter. So let's start building the Gepper C Sparrow. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. So I finished building the Gepper C Sparrow and I do owe you an apology because I couldn't feel the entire building process because I had some problems. For example, I couldn't fit the Skyzone VTX inside because the stake was just too high. Maybe if I used shorter screws, maybe I could have done it, but eventually I used the Ishin ATX-03 and hopefully it's going to be enough because I'm not going to fly this thing too far from me. So 200 milliwatt should be fine. And I'm using this antenna, but maybe I will change it to a cloverleaf antenna depending on the range that I'll get. In addition, I added a XSR receiver. I just mounted it on the side using these zip ties. I installed the propellers. I installed the run cam split and I flashed the flight controller to beta flight 3.2 so I can control the run cam split using my Taranis. On the back, I added this buzzer. So let's weigh this thing up. The total weight is 185 grams. So it's pretty light. I'm going to fly it with three LiPo batteries. First of all, the Dynogy 1000 mAh 4S battery. The weight is 298 grams. With the Graphene 3S 0.5 ampere hour battery, which I don't think actually it's going to fly too long with it, but we'll see. It's going to be 241 grams. And I'm also going to test the XF Power 550 mAh 70C4S battery and its weight is 252.5 grams. Overall, the build process wasn't easy and I found it a little bit hard to fit everything inside. So if you plan to use a run cam split, for example, I do recommend you to get instead of a 4-in-1 ESC controller, get separated OSC because the stake is going to be lower. You can just mount the ESCs on the arms. You have enough space so it's not going to be a problem and probably 20 ampere ESCs is going to be enough so let's put it for a test and take it for a test flight. I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and again I'm sorry that I couldn't film the entire process due to some technical problems. As always thank you for watching and goodbye.